Welcome to the Email Copy Pro Email Generator. Let's quickly go over the interface options. To find any email that you've created, simply search in the search bar. All of your emails are accessible here. You can view more of your emails here or select here to view more in one window. Here's the title of your email, the niche it's related to, the date it was created, the rating that you gave it, and any relevant tags. Click this button here, the clone button, to copy an email, and this button to delete. You cannot undo the delete. To create a new email, click the new button. Here is the email select panel. First, title your email with something that you will remember. Then, select a niche. You can use any of the niches that you've created. You can further refine your search by the name of the email, the tone of the email, which can be soft, aggressive, or baseline. You can also search by any niche variable that you've entered. For this example, I'll search under promo, and that will narrow the sequences down. If you own the Elite package, you will see the bonus sequences, which includes the sales letter emails and the top performing emails of the given month. If you have the Power package, you will see sequences. Sequences create multiple emails meant to be sent out at a given time in a given sequence. You can hide the panels by clicking the bar. Notice that Email Copy Pro puts the type of email you are looking at at the very front of the title. You have affiliates, content, nurture emails for clients, opt-in, promotional, and social media. You can select more than one email at once to generate if you have the power package or the elite package, or you can select one at a time. When you've selected the email that you wish to generate, scroll up or down and click the Generate button. On the left, you see the email naming portal. This is where your name shows up for the email, and you can tag your email so that you can find it with greater ease in the future. You can also rate your email here. If it did well, give it a high rating, and if it didn't, give it a low rating. Be sure to click Save afterwards. Edit Niche allows you to leave the email that you're in and edit the niche that that email is related to. Email Copy Pro will always ask you if you wish to save the data or cancel. This takes me to the niche that I was in, weight loss. I can edit any of the niche details from here. A handy feature is Edit Specifics. This takes you to the niche specifics for this particular email itself. Notice this is a much smaller list. It's easier to edit from the specifics window if you only want to edit this one email. Just click anywhere to edit, save, and click continue to return to your email. Here is the Email Copy Pro regeneration panel. Here you will find a description of the email, any notes or instructions associated with the email, and our subject line library. Let's start here. We pull from the top 150 subject lines on the internet and we rotate our subject lines according to performance. Notice that the subject lines have been customized to your niche data. Scroll all the way up to the top to choose the top three subject lines that we recommend. This is the email data panel. The email that you've chosen will appear here. You can scroll it, read it, edit it, and of course, regenerate it. Once you click regenerate, the email that you're seeing now will no longer be available. To regenerate, click regenerate and confirm regeneration. Notice that the email has completely rewritten itself. Email Copy Pro regenerates emails based on two criteria. First, the persuasion library criteria, which is the black text. In most emails, every line will regenerate, creating a well-written and unique email each time. The second variable that regenerates is the variable that you enter. Notice if we click regenerate again, the email will rewrite and often your data will change. Let's say that you like this version of the email, but you want to change a niche entry. Simply click on it. Every entry in your niche is found right here. To choose a different entry, click this green select button. This will replace the entry that you've clicked on with the one that you've selected. Let's say that you want to create a new entry. You can do that right here from within the niche edit panel. First, you want to name your entry, and you can create the entry exactly as you did in the niche panel. Check your entries on the good examples, if you like them, click Create, and then click the green Select button to replace the text. You can also edit the email exactly as you would in a text file. Once your edits are complete, click Save to save this email. You must click Save in order to view both the subject line and the email that you currently see in the View panel. When you're ready to send the email using your own email client, click View. A new window opens up displaying the email subject line that you've chosen and the content that you've chosen. Select all by Command-A or drag your mouse, copy, 
and now the email is ready to cut and paste into your email client. Now we'll select a sequence. Generate. Sequences will appear in the generation panel starting with the instructions. Be sure to read these instructions thoroughly. They tell you which days and oftentimes which time to send the emails. The emails will generate in the order this sequence is demanding. Simply follow the instructions and use one email at a time. To view the email, click the plus button and toggle to collapse. Let's say that you've selected an email that you haven't entered niche data for. This is what will appear inside the email panel. You can click on each of these variables and enter them right here. If the email had a lot of variables that needed to be entered, here's a trick that I'd like you to try. Rather than clicking the green button here, click the gray X and click Regenerate. All of the variables will now fill in automatically. Once you're done, always hit Save. If you need to edit an existing niche entry, simply click on it, click the blue pencil icon, and edit to your liking. Save to Niche, and click the green button to place it back in the email. An advanced feature that you may find helpful is the copy feature. Click on an entry that has multiple fields, but fields that will pretty much stay the same with the exception of a few minor edits. To make this easier for you, we allow you to copy an entry field. Click the pencil icon, scroll to the bottom, and click copy. Your new copy appears at the top. You must rename it and you must change field variables, otherwise Email Copy Pro could duplicate the data in an email. Save to the niche and enter by clicking the green button. Notice that you will see the same data from the original webinar. You can click on the tip and replace it with the correct one, one at a time, or you can click regenerate. Oftentimes you'll have to click regenerate more than once to pull in the exact data that you want. However, all of the data is replaced instantaneously, making it easier than clicking one at a time.